Hey guys, you're probably watching this video because you've come across either my social media page or my website. The whole idea of this video is to give you a bit more of an understanding of where I've come from, who I am, and more importantly, where we're going. So, to get started, my name is Dave Nixon, and this is the story so far. So I started working in the fitness industry at the age of 15. I was fortunate enough to get a work experience job out of a high school at a gym here in Canberra. I first started looking for jobs because my mother told me that I wasn't going to play cricket for Australia and that I should hopefully bring some money into the house. So I thought about being a PE teacher and then that meant going to uni, so I, didn't decide, so I decided not to do that. And so I pursued this idea of going to a gym and becoming a personal trainer. I first got that job when I was 15 and I got that job because it was a paperwork job and I could sit there at the desk and I was a shy little boy and I would every now and again speak to people as they came through otherwise I literally just sat there and kept to myself and wrote out the notes that I had to write out. From there I got offered a traineeship at the age of 16. By the age of 18 I was actually managing that gym and at the age of 19 I was managing all three gyms associated with that brand. And by the age of 22, I started my own business, which was then called Funk Fitness Australia. It was myself and six clients out of the corner of a mixed martial arts gym. And I had no idea, I had no gear, I was in debt. I did all that sort of, you know, cliche stuff. From there though, we grew. We grew because I was extremely passionate about the service. We grew because although I didn't agree with my last boss, he did teach and install work, work ethic into me, among many other things. However, I didn't want to be like that. I didn't want to run the business like him. But overall, what really sort of drove me to start my own business wasn't because I wanted to work for myself. It was because I remember sitting at the front of my old gym and watching this guy do bicep curls while looking in the mirror at himself. And I remember thinking, I'm like, this person is doing robotic, tedious movements that have zero to minimal correlation to anything he does outside of this facility all the while while he's looking at a mirror image of himself he's listening to electronic music before he puts powder down his throat and like we're calling this health and I'm like this doesn't make sense to me that this is normal for a human being to do and so I started to do some research and that's really what sort of inspired me to go down a different pathway because I saw the industry for what it was and I do believe that the industry creates long-term psychological issues provides people with short-term physical solutions to create repeat customers and I didn't want to be a part of that. That's not what I wanted to be a part of. Since starting Functional Fitness Australia, when it was just myself and six clients and growing from there into two facilities and now back to one and then moving on to the social media and online space, something really stuck out to me. And this is what I'm getting to. And this is what I teach a lot now. The industry doesn't care. It doesn't want an industry of educated individuals. Right? It makes money off people who are uneducated and insecure. For us to move forward as an industry, we need to make sure that us as coaches are actually coaching and not just training and calling ourselves coaches. That's a really big difference. Trainers have good answers, coaches have good questions. The issue among the industry is that a lot of businesses are actually built off a codependent society. And what I mean by that, what I really mean by that is that most businesses won't do well if society is healthy. So their goal is to always make sure that society is unhealthy. This is inherently wrong with the system that is the fitness industry. So I'm not at war with the fitness industry. I love the fitness industry. I love the health industry. But here's the difference. I'm not in the health industry teaching people. I'm in the people industry teaching health. 100% of your customers are human beings. Now we can go out there and run seminars about how to squat better, how to program better, how to be the most functional badass athlete you can be. Or we can even do click, on frigging clickbait stuff online where everyone's saying how to get 100 leads in, in seven days for your fitness business. It's like, no, nah, we need to do something else. And we need to go back to learn how people communicate, how human beings interact, all the different personality types, all the different meta programming. So what I've gone and done is built a seminar among an intensive, among other things that I'm like, this is what I've learned in the last 14 years of the industry. This is what I've learned to be true, to be mad out of stone. And this is what I've learned to be sand and, and kind of fall apart after a little while. Because the truth is, is if you really care about this industry, you're not in this for a short period of time. You're in it for the long haul. You see yourself in this industry in 40 years. If that's the case, then you know that you have time to really learn and care about the individuals in front of you. 
Forget about the 12 week challenges. I know that's the idea is to sell them and, and then get before and after photos. And with those before and after photos, you market your 12, 12 week challenge. And I know that's good marketing. But the problem is, is that we're not talking about the eggs that cracked. We're only talking about the ones that hatched. And there's a lot of eggs that cracked and we leave them off to dead. The industry has to stop doing this. It's time for the fitness industry to get rid of the exercise facilities and turn into educational facilities. In order to do that, we need to have conscious coaches. We need to have coaches that are able to connect to other human beings. It's the biggest difference. It's time for the industry to evolve and to change. And in order to do that, we ourselves as trainers and coaches have to evolve and change. But it's time to be a leader and lead from the front. Don't just regurgitate what every other business is doing. It's time to build your own. And that's the beauty of it right now. I really believe that the community facilities, the community gyms, and the coaches and the personal trainers in the fitness industry right now have the capacity and have the capability to completely like revolutionize the health of our nation and the health of other you know Western and Eastern nations. I really believe that because we have the ability to interact one on one with people, and we're not just when we help someone lose weight, right? We're not just teach them or telling them how to lose weight, what we're doing is that we are potentially helping to mold their genetics and habits for the next generation. You're not just getting a before and after photo, you're impacting a complete generation of human beings that aren't even born yet. There's more to it than simply just trying to get a couple of likes on Facebook or Instagram. Be deeper than that. Go further than that. Think longer than that. Be in this for the long haul. The time's going to pass anyway. So, yeah. My name's Dave Nixon and that's my story so far.